Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to show an end-to-end -end lens calibration and correction. So here's the raw shot that we're starting with. And just to show you what happens, let's go run the auto tracker on this thing. And we're going to go and zap out a few trackers in the middle of this. And now we'll solve. So you get a solution around uh, five pixels there, and basically all the trackers are, are bad. So this isn't really a particularly useful solution, even though it's okay. And, and the reason is that it's getting corrupted very, very badly by the lens uh, distortion from this uh, GoPro camera. And this is in R5 mode, I'll point out. So let's go take a look at a GoPro calibration sequence. So we're going to go and read that in. And we're going to do a calibration on it. We just created the trackers. We're going to run through and track them through the shot. That looks good. Let's go and create a preset for it. We're going to do a single pass version of this. So here's our completed calibration, and we've got our grid of points. Now it turns out that the, the best and easiest way to handle these things is to keep this file right as it is, basically. We'll just uh, delete all the trackers from it. Oops. And now we'll uh, save it away. So now we have something that's that's basically a preset for handling a different additional shots. Not only does it have the lens preset in it, and the lens preset only has data about how the lens operates, but this has the information from the rest of the image processor here, the uh, zoom factors, the uh, padding values as well. So to use this file now, we can use this on as many shots as we want, we can just go open up this scene file and say we want to change the shot uh, images and now let's go back to our original shot okay here's our shot again and you can see it's been and it zoomed in a little bit. We lost some stuff off the edge of the truck because of the uh, really extreme distortion on the camera. So now let's do the same thing again, though. We'll run the auto tracker. And we'll just go and start leading our trackers back off again. Looks like there's one in this car back here also. So now we'll do a solve. Now we're down around a little bit over one pixel an hour. Let's do a tracker cleanup on it. So there are a couple other trackers that are a little problematic also. This one here is probably getting clipped by the truck. Some stuff far off in the distance and tree branches. 
So let's just take those out, do this off. Now we're down around six tenths of a pixel. So you can see the dramatic impact that correcting that uh, lens distortion has had and how we're able to really go through and do it rapidly. Once uh, we've got that lens distortion file set up, we can just use it very easily. Thanks.